Hi, this is Andre. I want to talk about MIDI foot controller setups for the Echoplex Digital Pro. I've been using a MIDI foot pedal with the Echoplex for about 15 years, and there's a few banks that I use very, very often. There's about three banks that cover about 90% of everything that I tend to do with the Echoplex. So let me talk a little bit about what those banks are, how they're configured, and also some of the conceptual background as to why they're configured that way. So if you're not familiar with the MIDI foot pedal, here's the crash course. Each of these buttons can send a different MIDI command. If you change the bank, you change combinations of commands. So this bank, O1, now has a different set of commands assigned to these pedals. If I go up to bank two, that's yet another different combination of pedals. And I will demonstrate this in short order. But the idea is that you can have access to a lot of different Echoplex functions in very quick succession. So to start with, bank 00 for me is just a bread and butter bank. This is just duplicating the front panel button. So you have record, overdub, multiply, and then this is replace. Technically, this would be the insert button on the front panel. I always have that set to replace, so I always have button four on my bank set to replace because I use it all the time. That kind of idea. So this is the kind of thing that you could do just as easily with the front panel or the original foot controller. Um, I find it helpful to have this set up in a bank because before, I'm hitting mute there, uh, so I can hear myself talk. Before I got into using MIDI, for about six or seven years before I used MIDI with the EDP, I just used either the front panel buttons or the stock foot controller. So mentally, I'm used to record being over here. I'm used to insert being a little off to the, to the right. I'm used to mute and undo being kind of towards the center and overdub being just off to the left a little bit. So when I first started programming the MIDI foot pedal controls, I realized that I had certain physical geographical associations with where I needed certain functions to be. So on most of my banks, insert is always going to be around here, replace is always button four, record is always going to be off to the left, overdub is always going to be a little offset from the left, second from the left, and so on and so forth. I have found that really helpful and really important as far as keeping track of what everything is doing. Your mileage may vary, especially if you're going into the Echoplex using MIDI. Um, but for me, it makes a lot of sense to have one dedicated bank that mimics the front panel functions. So I have mute here. I don't use it very often, but it's there. And then I have an undo button. I don't use undo a lot unless I either make a really bad mistake or I do windowing. Um, I've already made bad mistakes in this video, so I might as well do some windowing to demonstrate that. So that was a remultiply. Now pushing undo gives us windowing through different iterations of the loop. I'm going to mute that again for just a second. S pedal 5 is set to substitute, which is similar to replace. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on it right now because I never use this. I thought, ah, oh, substitute is similar to replace. I love replace. I should have substitute on my pedal. I'll use it all the time. And I never use it because I forget that it's there. Uh, 6, 7, and 10, I don't remember what's set there. I don't use them. Uh, this is literally just a bread and butter bank to duplicate the front panel functions because I find it psychologically and conceptually really, really helpful to be able to access those original functions the way they're laid out, not just in terms of the functions that are available, but just where they're physically located on the interface. So let's go to the second bank that I use a lot. This is bank zero, my bread and butter bank. I'm going to unmute this. Now this is what I call a quick change bank. This is designed to do a lot of really dramatic changes to the loop in very rapid succession. So this becomes half speed. This is reverse. This is now overdub. That's still replace. So now we're back in regular speed because I hit half speed over there again. Now I'm going to reverse. Close overdub. Now so far, all of these functions that I've been using, replace, reverse, half speed, all of this stuff is accessible from the insert function on the front panel of the Echoplex. I'm going to mute this because I can't think with that ridiculous, terrible noise going. Um, 
all of these functions that I was just using, insert, come on, replace, reverse, half speed, all of this stuff is available on the Echoplex through the insert function. That means that if you want to go from reverse to half speed to replace, without MIDI, you have to reach over and physically change the front panel. You have to go into the insert mode parameter, you have to change the insert mode, then you have to exit parameter editing, and then start using your new function that you've just assigned to insert. And I used to do that. I would, I would very quickly run over and I'd call up a new function as quickly as I could change the insert mode manually, because I would try and go through a lot of this stuff very quickly. I'd want to go through reverse and half speed and replace and all that stuff. Uh, so having access to it through MIDI really, really changed what I could do. You know, it meant that I could be a lot faster with things. And also things like having an unrounded multiply. That's basically a way of redefining the length of the loop. It's a sus function. So it's only active for as long as you press it down. Then if I hit replace, that replaces the loop. In this case, it's a two millisecond long loop. Let's make the loop a little longer. You can do another unrounded multiply. Reverse it, half speed. This is a sus insert. This expands the length of the loop for however long the pedal is pressed for. Now I'm going to build a new groove. I'm going to use unrounded multiply here. Now I was in half speed. I still am in half speed. Now I'm going to go to full speed. Now I'm going to reverse. Now I'm going to add some replace stuff. Now I'm going to multiply and overdub at the same time. Now I'm going to reverse and overdub. And let's go back to half speed for fun. So to be able to do all this stuff in very rapid succession is a tremendous asset for me. This is one of the main reasons that I love using MIDI so much, because I can do all this stuff very quickly. And if I want to really dramatically change the content of the loop, which I often do want to do, Now, I do have some somewhat normal functions on this bank as well. This is multiply, as I think we've talked about. This is overdub. This is undo. So again, mainly either for correcting horrible mistakes or for windowing. And this is still substitute, which I never use but that substitute. It sounds just like replace, except, as I like to say, it's exactly the same, except that it's completely different. And we'll talk about substitute in a different, different video. I'm gonna build up some kind of vaguely usable loop at this point, because I'm about to talk about a third bank, so let me try and get something that kind of sounds like music. Okay, kind of. So, now we're going to bank 02. This is my multiple loops bank. The idea here is that 6, 7, 8, and 9 are all assigned to different loops in the Echoplex's memory. In other words, right now we're on loop 1. What I'm going to do right now is copy into loop 2. Now, it doesn't sound dramatically different other than the fact that I did a really sloppy, out-of-time overdub on there. 
I'm gonna build up hopefully some less sloppy, less out of time overdubs on top of this. Now, the reason that this is good to have on a bank is because I can go back to my original loop, which is what I started with. And I have that saved as a separate loop. So that's loop one. This is loop two. I can go back to loop one. Let's say I want to build off of that, but go in a different direction. So I'm going to copy that to loop three. Okay, now I'm going to go back to loop two, back to loop one back to loop three, copy that to loop four. And so forth. And most of these functions are pretty similar to bread and butter. This is replace, this is poor, unloved, unused, substitute, this is multiply, this is overdub. This is sus unrounded multiply because I like to do this kind of thing. Go back to that original loop. I'm going to copy it into loop four. So what's happening is I'm copying this into a new loop location, copying it into loop four. Now I've got that. Now sus unrounded multiply means that the loop length, the entire length of the loop, will be redefined to how long you press down the pedal and then release the pedal. Which means that if I just tap it very quickly, then you get a loop of just a couple of milliseconds. And then I can jump back to loop one and have that. So this is my fake IDM, fake square pusher effect. Etc. And so forth. And then back to what that was. So a lot of this is basically just about having access to a lot of different functionality in very quick succession. These are the banks that I have found useful. Um, your mileage may vary. In other words, you may find that your own choice of what functions you find useful to have collected on individual banks may be very, very different. A lot of this I arrived at through trial and error. I started off assigning different functions to different pedals in different banks and then just tried working with the banks for a little bit and found that in some cases I really liked the way I had originally set it up. In other cases I found that things that had seemed like really great ideas I never ended up using or were more complicated than I thought they would be or they just didn't make sense. So a lot of it is really down to personal taste, individual trial and error. Um, but the main advantage to using MIDI for me is that I have access to a lot of different functions and a lot of variations of functions that I wouldn't have access to if I was using the front panel. Or if I was using the front panel, it would take me a long time to go between them because going between things like reverse, half speed, replace, substitute, sus insert, all this stuff would be based on the insert button and I would have to change the insert mode to get to all those different ones. But with MIDI control, I have all of those functions available on individual buttons and can go back and forth to my heart's content. So, crash course in MIDI control. I hope that answers at least a couple of your questions. It has certainly raised some new questions for me. Thank you so much for tuning in.